Growing up, my favorite Christmas story was The Night Before Christmas. I read the books, I watched the shows, I even recited by heart the story to my four brothers. In a Huffington Post article, it says one of the oldest and most popular Christmas poems ever commonly referred to as Twas the Night Before Christmas was written in the early 19th century. Though its author is disputed with the poem being attributed to both Clemente Clark Moore and Henry Livingston Jr. over the years it was definitely first published on December 23, 1823 in the Troy Seminole newspaper in upstate New York. It is also referred to as a visit from St. Nicholas or the night before Christmas. It is the version that was printed by the Troy Sentinel newspaper in December 23rd, 1823 that I'm going to recite. It was the night before Christmas went all through the house. Not a creature was staring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds with visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles the courses they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, Uncommon, Uncupid, Undunder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up in the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all turners with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and he smoked it, it circled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose he sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a tissel but i heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight happy christmas to all and to all a good night i so enjoy reciting this poem the year 2020 has had its challenges but for me there are some good times too i purchased my first home not rent but purchased a home in 2020 
I'm proud of my Christmas tree, the first one that I purchased myself in my own little home. Merry Christmas and an awesome new year from PAC-TV to you.